Hey y'all, happy Friday. I just wanted to come on here. I had to tell you guys what happened to me today. Um, for one time, I'm not in the car, I'm in my room. Look, <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know that take that step. Like, seriously, take the step that God is calling you to take, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it scares you, even if you don't know how it's going to happen. Take that first step, and God will guide you. Like, and you have to remember what the word says in Psalm 121 too, that your help comes from the Lord. And in Luke, I think Luke 12, 12 or 12, uh, 12, 22, I always get them confused, but uh, I think it's Luke 12, 22, where it says, you don't have to be anxious for anything. It talks about the lilies and the ravens. He feeds the birds and, cl and gives the flowers beauty. So how much more would he love you? How much more does he love you? Like what? But, um, if you know me personally, I've shared this story a few times, um, with a few people. So when you hear this, you might, if you are one of those people, you understand what I'm saying. So, and how important this is, and I'll attach everything at the end of the video. But, so I walked down to my office to go get a filter, right? A air conditioning filter. Um, but before I did that, cause I was like, you know what? I'm going to step outside and get some fresh air. I'm going to bask in this sun you know it looks really good outside and it's nice and breezy so i was like you know what let me walk down there instead of driving because the office is like right down there it takes maybe like um and i was walking slow so like 10 minutes but at on a good day probably like seven but i was like let me i'm just gonna bask in god's presence i told you guys i love being outside so i go down there talking to the leasing officer uh, or the leasing manager just laughing with her and so on my way back home i see something fly down in front of me and i was like what is that like looking because i'm like i don't like no birds <laughs> so yeah i don't mm -mm. um and it's so crazy because um this is kind of off subject but i so just to share it but there's two of those like big brown ducks they have two little babies and they're so adorable like i'm not a big because i've seen them things attack somebody like when i used to work for the bank i done seen people like get beat down like especially in nursing, no, uh, not nursing, but nesting season when they start laying the eggs, the papa, like oh my god, he is very protective of his ducks. And oh, come on, Lord, and I just like God to use something. The papa duck is very protective of the egg, and he's very protective of the mother. So if you don't even have to be six feet away, like you could be literally looking like you want to approach the egg in the nest, them ducks will come for you. Like I've seen it with my own eyes. Like I'm like, dang, you weren't even nowhere near. I remember this one girl. Like, one, one of the daddy ducks tore her up. Like, had her through the parking lot. And she still went to work. I told her, I said, girl, you should have went home. Because, baby, that bird told you up. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, and the reason I said, oh, I wasn't led to shit. This is not where I was going. But when I, like, I look at them every day. Because they're literally right outside my door. But I don't get too close. And I tell my son, like, don't go too close. Because they got two little baby, little cute duckies. And I'm like, I be wanting to run over there. Like, hey, little duckies. I don't even do ducks. Because, like I said, I know they'll beat you down. And I know that they're always with, it's always two of them. And if one isn't present, the other one is like close by. So it's like, even if you look like I was standing outside earlier, just watching them. And I don't, I couldn't tell it. I can't tell the mama from the daddy. Okay. But obviously they know what they are. But one of them turned and looked at me and I said, Oh, I don't want to trouble. I was just looking <laughs> like, cause I'm like, they're protective of their babies. It's two of them. And so they literally like sit right here in this field next to my house and I was like oh my god I look at it every day because I'm so reminded of what a parent does it reminds me of how the father protects the mother and his babies so come on it like literally reminded me of what he said in that verse about the lilies and the ravens how God provides he provides for the birds he provides for the trees he provides for each and everything so aren't you much more than a bird Aren't you much more than a duck? Here you have two parents, a mama duck and a daddy duck, protecting their kids. Like, there's two little... And, like, you guys, they're eating, like, whatever's in the dirt, like the grass, the, the worms. I don't know what all they're eating. I'm not a duck. I don't know. But they eat every day. They're eating all day. Most of the time when they're out there, they're walking around just playing with each other and they're eating. Like, I literally will stand and watch them from... Because sometimes they'll go across in the field, across from my apartment. So, I will just stand and watch because I'm like, I'm intrigued. Like, wow, you guys are, like, really close in it. And... I love to see the way that the papa duck protects his mama duck, like, and his babies, like, and I see that there, there's, like, one duck that was making a nest in front of my door, and I was like, oh, uh-uh, don't make no nest in front of my door, because, like I said, the papa duck, he, once he knows that egg is here, or it's that time, he's very, so I was like, no, you know, I don't want no nest in front of my door, because I tell you, I feel like, as soon as I open that door, that thing is like, ah! <laughs> it's 
just going to attack me. But I, every day I look at there and I'm reminded of how God's protection is. What? Like, I was reminded of how we are like little ducks to him. We're obviously not little ducks, but we're his children. We're his, we're precious. We're young. We're innocent. It doesn't matter how old we are. We're still a child of God. We're still his son. We're still his daughter. So at the end of the day, God is still our father. That doesn't change because of how old you are. It doesn't change how much wiser you come. You're still a child of God. You're still his daughter. You're still his son. So God is still going to be that father. He's going to protect us. And so um, I have been sitting here waiting to the last minute to do something. And so today I finally said, you know what, God? I actually ended up taking a detour and going making um, what I thought was the best decision. And after I did it, I was like, well, God, now I see why you let me do that. But like I said, you know, I ended up taking a detour because I thought this was the best option. So God gave me to go ahead to do it. And when I did it, it beat me in my behind because I was like, oh, okay. And so then I said, well, Lord, why do you let me go through all that when you know it wasn't going to go through or you know it wasn't going to work out? And God said, I let you do it because I, I gave you the first option. But because you couldn't trust me enough because you didn't you thought that your way was better i let you take your way and now you have to end up coming back to the thing that i told you to do in the first place and now i want to remind you because when i originally went to go do this thing i end up seeing 12 12 and i told you guys i'm i'm heavy on that because i remember i live by psalms 121 too because i'm literally out here living on the grace of god i do not have a job so how does a person make it without a steady source of income Nobody but God, right? And I don't have no savings. All that's gone. The 401k is gone. Like, everything is gone. And I can be honest about that. And so, I literally live off of my help help comes from the Lord. My help comes from God. Um, And so, and that's something that he was pressing on me. Because I was like, God, I can't quit my job. Like, what you mean? But God said, "I'm I'm the source of your income. I don't care what your paycheck say. I allow them to pay you what they get you uh, pay every two weeks. And you, I'm learning how to trust God fully because I'm literally out here living on the grace of God. Out here literally trusting him, walking in the unknown each and every day, not knowing, you know, where my next income is going to come from. But let me tell you how God is so good. He's so good because we have not gone without. Have we had to move some things around and shift things back? Yes, but that's okay. We haven't gone without. Like, what? How? It's nobody but the grace of God. Um, And so, um, I saw that when I was getting ready to pot. And then I said, nope. I said, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to wait on the Lord. Thinking that, you know, God was telling me, like, no, don't do this. My help comes from him. But, you know, I live by that because that was what God was pressing on me. Like, don't so be so fixated on, on stability in a, co- a corporate job that you take your hand off of what I'm doing that you can't see past that because I'm your source of income. I allow them to pay you what you get paid on your salary. And so just know that I'm going to take care of you. And God has stood on that word. You know, has it been hard? Has it been trying? Yes, because God is teaching me to fully release, to fully let go, push my glasses up and trust him. You know, I'm literally out here trusting God each and every day. So anyways, I saw that. And then right shortly after I paused, I was like, uh-uh, I don't have peace about this. I'm not doing it. And then 1222 came. And I remember that 1222 reminds me that I don't have to be anxious. Do not be anxious. You don't have to be anxious for anything. And so again, I looked at that and I was like, you're right, God, I'm doing this out of anxiousness. I'm away. And so literally today I realized, I was like, no, that was you just encouraging me that my help comes from you. This is something sit from me. Oh, look at the two ducks. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. But yeah, like I said, you know, I live by Psalms 121 to and Luke 12, 22 to not be anxious and to know that where my help comes from so that when I'm going through or I need some help, I know who to call on. You got to know who to call on. And like I said, when I saw those two ducks, I was like, oh my God, that's just like God's protection over us. That's just like God's grace over us. He watches over us. It doesn't matter what you see. You may see just a mama duck right here, but you see her two babies, but best believe that papa duck, he's somewhere because I was looking, I said, oh, he over there. Hi. Because he said, um, if you think you finna swoop in and take my kids or if you finna harm my mo- the mama oh i'm gonna peck you and i had to i was literally reminded like god that's who you are you come in when the enemy sees us and he think we're alone listen when the enemy sees us thinking we are there alone with our kids or with our friends or whatever we he think we by ourselves whole time your head just protecting us or god's head is protecting us whole time god is in the midst as soon as he attacked 
But when the enemy tries to swoop in and attack you, the Lord shows up. His angel shows up to cover you. And that's that's what I was reminded of when I saw those two ducks. And I was like, dang, I only see the mama and the two babies. But I know that Papa Duck is somewhere close, baby. Because I was reminded of how protective. It's like that duck goes into protective mode. As soon as the, the egg is here. Like, soon as the egg and the mama, she just sit in her nest and sit on that egg until that baby comes out. The papa duck is standing in front of her and he's guarding anything around her. It's like he got a peripheral. Like, he's focused. I've seen it with my own eyes. Them ducks do not play. The same way that duck don't play about that mama duck and that baby duck is the same way God don't play about you. Okay? So, when the enemy think you out here walking by yourself or you out here having a good time and you ain't got on the whole armor of God, he gonna be in for a good surprise. Because the Lord gonna swoop in from around that corner and say, huh? What you doing? And he gonna get knocked back. The same way that bird, because you gotta think that duck, he, when he running his wings. But yeah, so they, when the duck runs and they try to attack, their their wings are like up. You know, their wings are up. So you gotta think, when the Lord come in, he's smiting that sword. He like, he, he gonna get the enemy. Because the enemy out here playing games, thinking that you alone the whole time, you're protected by your father. And I want you to remember that. No matter what you're going through, he is your help. That's where your help comes from. When you're in trouble, don't pick up that phone. You better call the Lord. Send that 911, Psalms 911, um, 9111. Yeah, I'm talking about 911. 911. <laughs> Call him, 911. He will command his angels over you. And so every time I see those little ducks, and as I was sitting here, you heard me earlier, I was like, all oh, the little ducks, because I'm sitting in my bed and my window is right there. And I'm looking out and I can see them. And I was just like, I'm reminded that that's God. He's protecting us. He's near even when it seems like he's far away but back on point so i'm walking home and i see something dive in front of me so i'm like what is that what mm -mm. but um i was looking at my like, what is that and I, it stood in front of me it literally was facing the opposite direction then it turned to look at me and i turned to look at it so now we stand each other facing the face and i'm like oh my god i was like it's a red cardinal oh my god and like i said listening to this message you probably like girl okay it's a red cardinal but if you know me and I've talked to you about how I pray and I, I consistently ask God to confirm his promises with me um, by a confirmation of showing me red cardinals so that when I'm in the midst of giving up, when I'm in the midst of thinking that it's all about to fall apart, I need I need a sign. I need God, does this still stand? And God came and swooped in, let that bird swoop in front of me to remind me that I got you. Your help comes from me. I don't care what it looks like. Take that step and I'm behind you. So, and I was just like, oh my God. And then I pulled up my, I was like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta uh, take a picture of this. I gotta take a picture. Because I've seen them and I've seen one the other day. But, um, I was just like, I was mind blown. Cause I'm like, of course I've seen them. Like I, in, in my apartment specifically, I know they're out here because that's what made me consistently say that. Like, um, cause I was praying for so much, like, especially before I left my job and I said, Lord, whenever I see this bird, I'm going to be reminded of your promises to me. I'm going to be reminded that they still stand and you are guiding me. You are covering me and keeping me protected because sometimes we get so confused and we get so iron. I'm like, Lord, I need a specific, I need a sign from you, you know? And I, I know that, um, and I always pray and I ask the Lord that the enemy can't come in and taint my prayers, that they make it directly up to heaven. Cause sometimes the enemy will hear you praying out loud and he'll come sending you something whole time. Maybe a blue jay. I ain't asking a blue jay. So you can take that back. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, you know, when I saw that bird today, I was like, oh my God, I've never seen one up this close to me. I was like, it's an ugly bird. <laughs> but I was just like, I knew what the message behind it was. And there's one that I keep on my board. Sorry, I got to keep fixing my shirt because it keeps falling down. I don't want y'all to be talking about, you should got her clean your job. Not on purpose, okay? Focus on the word of the Lord. But um, I have a cardinal that I keep on my board from um this same instance. You know, I, I was in a point where I was losing all hope. And I was giving up on the promises God told me. And when I got to work, and I think I shared this before, uh, one of my, my old co-workers, she had got uh, some gifts or whatever for Christmas. And it was three bags. And I looked around and got, I kept hearing, like, pay attention, look, look closer, look closer. And I'm like, look closer, pay attention, what, what? Like, I was missing it. And then I was sit, I sat back and I just sat and I looked and I said, oh, my God. It's been in my face this whole time. My bag was the only bag that had a red corner because I looked at my coworker next to me and I looked at the other bag that my, the lady who gave it to me. I looked at her way and I was like, okay, my bag is the only bag that literally has a cardinal on it. And mind you, she had um 
she didn't know what I was praying. She didn't know what I asked God. So I was just like, oh my God, like I wanted, but yeah, you know what I thought? I wanted to break down and cry, but I had to come keep my composure because I'm like, dang, this lady don't even know. I was just at home last night crying my eyes out because I'm like, God, you know, like I said, I knew I was going to be leaving my job and I know what God had told me about some things that's going to come to pass in my life. And I'm like, well, how am I going to do that if I'm leaving my job? And so I was just like, you know, <laughs> um, how's this going to happen? Like, does the promise still stand? And so I asked the Lord, I said, you know, I need you to confirm it. Show me, show me that sign. You know what I'm talking about? And so it didn't happen that day. And I had been praying for days at that point and it didn't happen then. And then when I least expected it, God showed up. I was at my work desk. And let me tell you, God will meet you where you at. Okay. Um, I was walking, still holding on to the little mustard seed effect that I had, but in my mind, I was doubting because I'm like, okay, well, I'm leaving my job. How am I going to do all these things? And I literally got to work and the, the promise was sitting, the reminder, the confirmation. Was so I was just like, oh my God. And like I said, it took me a minute. It took me like an hour to realize it. The bag had been sitting there by the time I got there and I didn't realize it till like closer to like nine, close to 10. I get to work at like eight. Um, so eight 30, I think I used to go, but I was like, I kept hearing, look, pay attention, look. And I was like, if you could have seen me and I, I know they weren't paying attention to me, but I knew I was trying like not to be so like, what, what, what? I was just like sitting there, look this way. I look that way and I'm like, I don't, okay. So then I started about working because I'm like, okay, maybe that's just me talking to myself in my head. <laughs> and then, um, I kept like noticing the bag and then I sat back and I said, hmm? I looked. I was like, oh my God. And I'm going to put a picture of that cardinal because I saved it. I have the bag, um, but I put it away. But I do have, I took the, the tag of the cardinal. I took it off. But on the, I noticed it on the back. But on the back, it was really small. But so I was just mind blown because I'm like, this lady don't know nothing about nothing. Like, I ain't told that lady nothing. I ain't seen no signs on that. Like, I ain't tell her anything. So I'm like, God, this has to be you. Like, there's no way this late. And she even said, she was like, well, I didn't know what you prayed or whatever. I didn't even know. And I was like, right, you didn't know. I didn't, I haven't told nobody. At this time, nobody even knew. Um, I don't think nobody ever even knew I was leaving at this point. But it was coming to, I knew I was leaving. And I knew what God had told me. And I'm in my mind, I'm overthinking. And I'm like, well, God, does the promise still saying? So when I walk home today and I see, and then ever, like God will send me a cardinal every now and then. But honestly, like I said, I seen one maybe like a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I hadn't seen one in a while. So I was just like, okay, Lord, you know, um, maybe the, the promise changed, you know. Um, but when I saw that bird today and it was looking like God was basically like, this is specifically for, what did I say? This is specifically for you. This is for you. The promises still stand. So I was just like, I got to keep going. I can't stop because the promises still stand. God is still good regardless of what it looks like. And sometimes we be thinking that it's a now thing, but sometimes God is like, I'm telling you this now to prepare you for what's coming later. And later may not be as late as you think. It may be sooner than you expect. So stay prepared. Continue to be ready for what God has for you. Be an expectant regardless of what it looks like on paper. Regardless, like I said, there's no way that in a real world with no job, I should be sustained this far. There's no way. Like, there's no way. I'm just putting it out there. There's no way. But because God is my help, he's my firm foundation. He is the, the father of me. He takes care of, of me and my household. We have not gone without. Some things have to get cut out because obviously I'm like, okay, I can't afford that, you know. But at the end of the day, for the most part, we have not gone without the, the very things that we need. And God has been doing so much. And I'm just like, oh my God. So when I saw that card the day, I was like, I got to tell somebody that the promise still stands. Oh my God. Where'd it go?